leadership isn't about challenging people and pushing them yeah. hard all the time. Actually, it's about supporting them as well. But that's almost two ends of a kind of spectrum. Yes, well, so you, we this is where you really helped because you started to introduce this whole idea of, well, let's call them spectrums. Yeah, because that's, that's how I sort of, I thought about it in my head. It, it kind of took that graphic equalizer thing and I thought, well, actually it's about, it's about like a range, a kind of spectrum of behaviors yeah. and achieving balance is about being somewhere on that. And so this is where the ideas start to come together. So we said, right, well, look, ultimately leadership is about behavior, right? It's a broad word. It can mean lots and lots of different yeah. things. So leadership, bit like the word religion, like my mother's religious, you know, goes to church fairly regularly but so is a jihadi that blows himself up on a bus in the middle of London, right? Both of them yeah. are religious. Yep. And leadership is like that. It's a really broad bird. So let's get past all of that and let's understand it that fundamentally it's about behavior and the impact you have on other people. Yeah. So behavior is shaped by context, right? So leadership is all about behavior. Behavior is shaped by context. So a leader needs to be able to understand what context am I facing? How do I naturally behave? And what do I need to do or how do I need to adjust that behavior, right? Yeah. So my default setting, because I'm a bit of a control freak, is to naturally try and do everything myself, right? But in my career in the Marines, when I've been working with really capable corporals and sergeants, I'd had to push myself to go, no, give them more responsibility. Give them more things to do. Yeah. Ask them how they would do this if they were in my shoes here. And the reason for that is because firstly, I need to make best use of this intellectual horsepower, which we've got, which was often quite considerable. Secondly, they'd often come up with better ideas than me. And thirdly, this is what ultimately developed them by giving them a sense of responsibility yeah. and also engage them as well. So I kind of recognize this is a sort of, not a flaw in myself, but this is an area of weakness that if I just overplay this leadership style of having a tight level of control, I'm not gonna get the best use out of my guys.